Have you ever wondered why individuals with autism often engage in repetitive behaviors? This intriguing phenomenon known as stimming is a critical facet of the autism spectrum and understanding it can shed light on the complex world of autism. Stimming or self-stimulatory behavior is a series of repetitive actions that individuals with autism frequently exhibit. It can encompass a wide range of behaviors from hand flapping and rocking to repeating words and phrases and even staring at lights. But what is the function of these seemingly random activities? Stimming serves multiple purposes for those with autism. It's not just an arbitrary behavior, it's a coping mechanism. When the world becomes too overwhelming, when stimuli become too intense, stimming acts as a buffer, helping to regulate sensory input and maintain an individual's sense of balance. It can soothe, it can distract, and it can provide comfort in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable. Moreover, stimming can serve as a form of communication. For individuals who struggle with conventional forms of expression, stimming can convey emotions, needs, or states of mind. A sudden increase in stimming might indicate stress or discomfort, while a decrease could signal relaxation or contentment. However, it's important to bear in mind that every individual with autism is unique. The triggers, forms, and functions of stimming can vary widely from person to person. Understanding stimming, therefore, requires patience, observation, and an open mind. So, what have we discovered today? We've learned that stimming is a common behavior in individuals with autism, serving as both a coping mechanism and a form of communication. We've understood that it's a reaction to sensory overload, providing comfort and balance in a world that can often seem overwhelming. And we've acknowledged the diversity within the autism spectrum, recognizing that each individual's experience with stimming is unique. Remember, understanding stimming is not about pathologizing or stigmatizing individuals with autism. Rather, it's about gaining insight into their world, appreciating their unique ways of interacting with their environment and supporting them in their journey. As we continue to explore the intricacies of the autism spectrum, let's remain open, curious and empathetic, for there is so much more to learn and understand.